Well. Mrs. McKinnon. Yeah, that would be me. I know that, I just like saying it. Mm. Mm. It was in this private plane. I mean, there's no stewardesses, no, 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 nobody else. You and I. But I don't. But I, was... I, I don't want to do it here. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You want me to go up front and uh, and I can blindfold the captain? Because it doesn't matter. They really put this on autopilot anyway. I'm not worried about captain. It's just I want to make love for the first time as husband and wife in Hawaii, not on a jet. Besides. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to just sit here and talk about the wedding? No. Why? You mean like what? 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 What people are wearing? What they said? Stuff like that? Yep. Okay. Great. They were so happy for us, Dick. Really. I mean, I could feel it. It was in the air, right? Yeah. Me too. something on my face. What's so funny? <laughs> Life. Everything. I mean, uh, the two... The gorgeous brunette and the guy with it with his with his mouth and tongue hanging out. <laughs> I mean... The grand prize, the, the great enchilada, all that. Who said that? You know, I don't know. All I know is that I'm going to say my prayers to us tonight. Oh, man. I love you, McKenna. Get used to it, Emily. Waiting around is all part of being with a cop. Luke fell asleep upstairs. We're gonna carry him to the car in a few minutes. That kid never ceases to blow my mind, you know? I heard what happened. You saved our son's life. How can we ever repay you? Anyone would have done the same thing, you know? I just, I just tripped on my way to the door. Rose, we're trying to thank you. The least you can do is love us. You're welcome. All right, there it is. We should get Luke. I love you. Excuse me, folks, if you wouldn't mind waiting, I have one more question for you. I'm sorry about all this. Why don't you head home? No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head to the office. As this turned out to be a major news day, so. Call me. How's your head? It's still there. Let me get your warm cloth. Oh, don't bother, no. You know, Rose, someone threatened your life tonight, and it's the life of someone you care about. You don't have to act like it's just any other day. It's, you know, I've seen some bad guys in my day, but that Dante takes it to a whole other level, you know? You look at him, it's like looking in the eyes of pure evil. Yeah. It's like that with some people. Talking about your father? The infamous James Stenbeck. Thank goodness I'll never have to see that face again. You're a hero, Rose. I am proud to know you. Yeah. I should get a knife stuck in my throat more often, then. <laughs> You never cease to amaze me. Well, there's a lot more where that came from. Stick around. I 
I intend to. Fall Curly. I want to see a doctor. Make sure you're okay. No, I don't. I don't think I need a doctor. But thank you. I mean it. You take care. Soon. We're gonna need your statement. Can we do it at the station? I really don't want to stay here. Yeah, that's no problem. Look, Jack, I know killing a man is never easy, but you acted quickly, swiftly, decisively, like the exceptional police officer you have always been. I can't come back, Margo. Not yet. I'll see you down at the station. Stand back. 